Hey guys, I want to talk to you a little bit about fletching, like the jig, the helical, the offset, why you should and shouldn't do certain things. Um, I think a lot of guys just flex their arrows up the same every time, no matter what the setup is. I put a big, some guys like a hard helical, big vein, all that stuff. But um, depending on the distance you're shooting and how heavy your arrow is, really should determine how much helical and offset you're putting on your veins and obviously how big your veins are. So these are the new uh, recon veins. It's a prototype right now, probably will be out here any day now, but I have a two degree offset and that's pretty much what I run most of the time because I shoot a lot of long distance stuff. If you're shooting under 50 yards, it's really gonna be hard to, to put too much helical, too much offset on your arrows unless you're shooting a real light arrow. But I use this, um, the Vein Master Pro from Last Chance Archery. It's the best vein jig, fletching jig on the market. Um, just so simple to change your helical. So if I wanted to put, see, you can see right there, I'm running a left, left helical, two degree offset. That little pin slides in and out. I just put it right in the two on the L, left side. Slide this down till it hits it, tighten it up, and I'm putting a two degree left offset on my arrows. It goes all the way out to five, from zero to five, right and left. Then you just put your arrow right here, put your knock right there, click it in, vein in here and it slides right on your arrow. I mean, it is these most simple, doesn't, you can't mess it up. I mean, it's literally idiot proof. And that's what I want in a, in a vein jigs. I want it simple, set my degree, go. But like I said, I hardly ever put more than a two degree offset on my arrows simply because if you're shooting long distance, you put too much helical, too much offset. What that does is once you get past about 50, 60 yards, it can start to really try to control that arrow, over control it. And it's what we call a parachute effect. The back end starts to slow down before the front wants to, and you get the arrow doing this at long distance. And we call that a parachute effect. It really hurts your accuracy downrange. So be real careful. It's different with every setup. So it's gonna take you doing some testing on that. Um, but a good way to do that is getting one of these jigs where you can do it all at home so you can fletch one with a two degree, three degree, one degree, and just see what shoots best for you. But I would, uh, I would stay away from putting too much helical on if you're shooting long distances.